Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy <clears throat> Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. Yeah, dude, I'm playing this. And we're playing that Madden 21 for your butts. Yeah, dude. I got an eye headache. An eye headache. Yeah, dude, I got, like, eye pressure. It makes my head hurt. No, it's not glaucoma. Isn't that what glaucoma is? How often do you get nosebleeds? Never. Never had a nosebleed? Like, three in my life. Uh, that's herpes. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> John, I'm sorry to inform you, dude, but as a medical professional, Dang. that's definitely herpes. Damn it, dude. Your eyes have <laughs> bleeds in your life, dude? Oh, no, it's the lack of nosebleeds that actually did. Oh, it was like, so if I bleed a lot out of my face. <laughs> it's yeah, all it calls the, causes the coagulation of the blood so it doesn't ble bleed out your face. Mm -hmm. Gets all the simplex out. Mother effing simplex. <laughs> it's always you. the simplex. It always gets you every time, dude. <laughs> Yep. My yeah. apologies to anybody in the audience who may be living with herpes. Your problem is not a joke. It is not. I'm sure that they will have some sort of better treatment soon. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. We hit 500 subs. You brought that up. Yeah, dude. That I feel was, like, it's, by the time this episode comes out, it'll be a while. We might have 504 by then. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, dude. We hit it. You know, we got it, dude. Uh, you brought that up to my. You brought that to my attention. I was like, oh, that's wonderful. So. uh you know, now we, we probably should do a 500 sub episode spectacular. I agree. What do you want to do? Play Overwatch. <laughs> it, uh, overcooked. Undercooked. What's the name? Another Cook Watch. Cooked. Cook, ba cook Battle. Uh, can we play Among Us? Can we play Among Us? Can On the chin? Not play Among Us with just me and you. I mean, like, can't, can't you join, like, a game online? I mean, yeah, we could. I mean, honestly, if we were to play Among Us, people might be interested. What system is that for? PC. Oh, really? I thought it was for, like, Android and stuff, too. It might be. Um, to I mean, be we're honest, obviously not going to play on the phone, but... To be honest with you, I, I had no intention on going and talking to a room full of strangers, so I was just like, this ain't really for me. I feel like you got to have, like, a circle. Do you actually have to, like, talk? Oh, so it's like playing that game where you like, where you pretend you're part of the group, but you're really the mole, and like you're trying to convince other people that other people are the bad guys and you're not, and like it's oh, like. I, I thought you were familiar with this. You brought it up. I thought you. Were familiar. I don't know exactly. I know like it's a game of like there's imposters and not imposters, and you're trying to sabotage or something. But I don't know exactly how it's played. You actually kill people. You what? So everybody is in a chat, and then. You go into the game and you just go around and you do like certain like really easy mini game tasks, but it obscures your vision while you're doing it. There's uh, one to two, to, one to two people who can be the uh, imposters, and they come around and try to kill you. And then other people try to figure out through deduction of like, all right, I saw this guy and this guy and this guy in this room, so it couldn't have been them that killed people. It has to be this guy. And then everybody talks about it. And then, when, but actually, when you actually go into the game where you're doing like the task and the killers have free range to kill people, nobody can talk to each other. It's only after a dead body is found or somebody thinks somebody's suspicious and they can press a button that everybody can actually con convene and talk to each other. Oh, I got you. It's yeah. pretty cool. Seem, I mean, yeah, it does seem all right. It seems like a lot of work for. It, it, it really isn't, though. It, it's, it's a lot of like talking. Because it's just like, if you're really an imposter or you're really a killer, you got to tell everybody, hey, I'm not a killer, you know, or you got to act. It's about acting. Yeah, I've went to, like, one of those places where, like, one of those, like, uh, board game bars where you go and play, like, car you know, those, those, like, complex board games. Like, and there's games like that where you get cards and based on what cards you are, you're, like, you're the you're the bad guy. And you're like, no, I'm not the bad guy. He's the blue. He's like, look at his face. He can't even not smile. Yeah, He's the bad yeah, guy. I like that. You know, those sort of games. It's, meanwhile, you're just lying through your effing teeth that, and you're the bad guy. It's fun to lie to your friends for a game, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not fun to lie to them in real life, but yeah. Like, <laughs> it was it, in like, it's... Lying is so much fun. Yeah, dude. I don't know why I ever tell the truth. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, um... Yeah. 
those those sort of games are fun. I think I, I probably would enjoy it a lot, to be honest. But I just like I don't like talking to strangers on the internet, dude, because it's a lot of work. And That's all... exactly what you like doing. No, it is not. You've done it so many times. When? When was the last time you saw me out here chatting on the internet with strangers? The, uh, 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 um, Casper. Casper? Uh-huh. The F does that mean? Uh-huh. The only Casper we know. I didn't get online and play games I'm with him. not saying that you got all on and started chatting it up with him, but you were chatting it up via text. Oh, that was... Oh. oh. Yeah, no, yeah, dude. That oh. serves a purpose. Not internet stranger. Like, people that I'm not... <laughs> Exactly what they were. They have to be a stranger for before you know their name. Yeah. Everybody's a stranger you just haven't met yet, Jonas. Yeah, dude, that's true, I guess. But no, dude, I mean, in the purpose of playing games, like, people that I could actually meet in real life, that's different. See, I find that it's easier to be, like, uh, like just playing a game and then over Xbox Live, you know, you make, like, a small connection and you play for the night and then maybe the next day he hits you up and you play again. Like, that, it used to happen organically that way. But it's like you're all doing the same activity. It's right. Just all it takes is for two people to reach out. Yeah, I've, I've had that happen before. Like, you know, you're like, you'll ma randomly match up with someone, and then you guys happen to play well together, or you go on a run and win a few Crucible matches, or for, say Destiny, for example. And then, like, at the end of the night, they're like, oh, I'm going to go. And they're like, oh, cool, I'll add you. If I see you online, I'll hit you up. And then, like, if they see you online the next day, they're like, hey, what's up? You want to party up? Or, like, you, and then, you, like, maybe a week later, you're like, oh, we're about to do a raid. You, you want to get in in this raid, dude? And then. And I've then, definitely had it. I remember I had this one guy I was playing Terraria with for a short time, man. And he just became like a little too clingy. Did he try to kiss you? No, he didn't try to kiss me, dude. But he came, he came a little too clingy. Like, if I'm playing a different game other than Terraria, like, what, what, what do you want? Well, you, we play Terraria together. You don't play this other game. You try to lure me away from this other game to go play Terraria. He's like, I see that you're playing... Uh Overwatch. He's like, don't don't you want to come play Terraria with me? And you're like, hey, nah, dude, I'm good. He's like, well, you fine. should. Fine then, dude. If you don't want to play Terraria with me, then yeah. And when people get a little too clingy or they hit me up, like, like if you hit me up once and I don't answer, it's like, hey, just let, let it let it live. You know, if if I hit you up and I tell you I'm doing something, like, hey, just let it live. But if you, you know, get a little too pushy, and I'm just like, oh, okay. all right, block. I see, I see the type of person you are. Yeah. I see how you get down. Mm -hmm. It's a little weird, Like man. when you meet a woman and you become her everything? I mean, it definitely translates into that, where it's like, if if a girl's not feeling, you got to be able to take that rejection, you know? Rejection is not a bad thing. It really well, isn't. It's, 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 funny it's because saving like, your um, time. The old, I think it's something you don't realize till you're older, is that, like, it's much easier to say, oh, I think that girl's cute, and just go ask her out and be told no, then yeah. sit there for months pining over how cute you think she is and you would one day love to go on a date with her and then ask her six months later and be told no. Exactly. You might as well just be like, hey, what up? I think you're cute. You want to go hang out? And she's like, no, I'm not interested. Okay, then you don't worry about it anymore. It doesn't matter if you have to think she's interested or not. It doesn't matter. Whatever, you have your answer. Oh, it's the fear of the no, I think, is what, what gets people. But People would rather romanticize it in their head. Yeah. And then... And then them not, obviously not live up to expectations because they don't even know who they are. They're just lusting over them. Woo. We're getting into some real neckbeard territory right yeah, here. Yeah, dude, incel. <laughs> yeah, dude, incel. Should we start an incel rehabilitation no. <laughs> training class? Uh, where we can, like, teach people that, that it's not okay to be an incel? Oh, man. I don't know. I feel like that would be kind of cringe. But we'd be doing the world a favor. We would be. You know, actually, I saw that there was a YouTube channel. I hate to even bring it up because it's a, it's well, a competitor. Well, don't say the name of it. We'll just, yeah, just it is a competitor, but it was a, it was called uh, Dad, How Do I? And it was a guy that taught you how to put on a tie, how to check your oil, how to, like... Yeah, just uh, do basic tasks. How to shave. Just this ish that your dad would teach you, and if you were unfortunate enough to not have one in the household, boom. You got a guy who'll give you the basics. Yeah, you know how to shave now. You know how to tie a tie. And it's just like he's doing he's doing he's doing the good work. 
An in-sale rehabilitation. We'd have to do like research though. You gotta do research. Yeah, dude. You gotta because like, you, you gotta, gotta know what an incel. You gotta have a clinic, and they come there, <laughs> and, they re and they rehabilitate, dude. No, I don't want a clinic. You, first thing when you walk in the door, there's razors. You shave the neck beard off. Uh, you gotta trim it no. at the jawline. I'm not shaving anybody, John. You, you can show, shave them. You gotta show them the proper line to cut their beard, dude. I'm not shaving or bathing anyone. <laughs> no. Charge the shaving. I don't bathing and shaving anyone either, but you have to tell them that they have to shave and shower and bathe. That's not what you said. You said you bring no, them there you and you shave them down. and bathe them. No, you no, <laughs> you wanted me to shave that. and bathe. Your fantasies were coming out of my mouth. So <laughs> well, I, my I, fantasies better not end up in your mouth. <laughs> my fantasies better stay out of your mouth. <laughs> your mouth and my fantasies have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> uh, so keep telling yourself that. That makes you sleep better. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, but we have 500 subs. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. We're, we're, we're going to put something special out. Uh, we no, we are. We are. We are. What are we going to play? What can we play? We are. Let's do... What are we gonna I don't know, dude. I can, we can look at some stuff. We can look at some stuff. We don't know what it is yet, but it's fine. It's going to happen. We'll do something. <clears throat> yeah, but it, it's wonderful, man. It's a good feeling. Why don't we sit on the couch Feel and like hold hands, and I'll use the I'll use the joystick, and you play the buttons, and, in the, and our other hands will be held together. So we're playing one game. Two people playing one game as one, connecting as one body. So I'm looking at Jonas. I know you can't see it, but I'm giving him a look. <laughs> completely stone faced as I am uh, known for doing and I'm just shaking my head slightly not too much not like to say no but to more or less show disapproval in in the in the idea you know how I know you're ultimately disappointed is if you were like yes Jonas we should sit there together yeah. <laughs> yes Jonas we should sit there together as one holding hands playing, playing a video game that's what we'll do <laughs> you got it I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Makes me feel nice to be validated. Yes. No, For sit. once. Yeah, finally going to validate me. It's fine. Come <laughs> sit on the couch. <clears throat> no, yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do something. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Wow, Jonas. In sale rehabilitation. Yeah, dude. I, I don't know if I want to know enough about that. You know, like they say, like people who do that kind of psychological work sometimes, you know, like learning about the ins and outs of it can be as detrimental to them as it is yeah, to, it's like to the, the people uh, involved. It's like the ignorance is bliss sort of thing. Like you don't yeah, like you don't even have the ability to think in that crazy way because you don't know what that way is. Yeah. And then once you kinda understand like why why a person thinks the way they think, then a lot of times it could be like like when we watch the five G COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that guy makes a really valid point. <laughs> that guy was so convincing, man. And then I well, right, like, I can see how weak will people will be like, Oh man, that's real, dude. That's yeah. that must be what it is. Yeah. Like there's there's people who are like fathers and like el you know, older people who are like established who think that the world is flat. There's smart people out there who are just convinced that QAnon is a thing. There's people out there just in these just conspiracy theories. It's really crazy. I didn't think conspiracy theories were as like just like the average person. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just didn't really think that they were as big as the as they actually are, man. Yeah, and or the like, like or I worse. won't last because it limits your oxygen, your CO two levels drop, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I like mean, that I, sort of stuff. Like just sure. Um, but <laughs> COVID. It's all. It's all. But I mean, you just talked about the COVID five G. Why can't I say the mask thing? <laughs> Fine, whatever, dude. Yes, all of that stuff together, Jonas, is too much. I just don't understand where all these conspiracy anti vaxxers Somebody wrote a paper, dude. Dude, so I can't even tell the story. Why, dude? I can't tell the story, but I ran into an anti-vaxxer, and I just kind of like just like in real life. Yes. How did like you meet someone that came up that quick? It, it was. It was. It was. It happened. It happened. And I was just like, oh, okay, okay. So you know. That that could have messed this person up. I guess it could be that. It could have been that. We don't know. I don't know. I'm. I just let it slide. I was like, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, bad things can happen from a lot of different things. I man. find it's better when someone I know says something I don't agree with like that. Like, I just, I don't even tend to, like, poke the bear. I'm just kind of like, oh, you don't wear masks. Or, oh, you think the earth is flat. <laughs> Okay, I don't. Even, no, I poked the bear on the flat earth. I don't, or I don't even want to get into wear the mask. Why do you think they're like, dude? It's just gonna be. It's gonna make me respect them less. Uh, and if somebody I actually care about, I'm like, dude, I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's there's one thing when we're talking about like like flat earth. Anti-vaccinations. This is like, dude, there's science for that, and like, you're kind of nuts. Like, I don't understand why you believe in the most fantastic story over the most. It's like Occam's Razor. You familiar with that? Uh, that is the. Uh, it's essentially, like the easiest excuse is the, or the easiest reason is probably the most likely. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So like, oh, the, uh, the the tower fell over. Well, the wind was probably heavy that day, and the supports were bad. Nope, it was the mafia. No, it was probably the wind was heavy and the supports were bad. There's some probably some rust or something. Well, yeah, it's like the people who like it's like the 9/11 conspiracy people that were like, it was a controlled blast on the 73rd floor. Do you see that explosion? It could have maybe. It, it could have maybe been that planes slammed into the side of the building. <laughs> yeah, Call me that, crazy. Maybe that happened. A, 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 a 500-passenger airliner with thousands of gallons of fuel smashed into the side of it. Maybe that's why it fell over. Call me, I don't know. Call me crazy. Call me crazy, but I don't see it on the video. <laughs> yeah, so. right. Like, shit, what you see right there, dude? That's like an explode, Dude. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't really get into conspiracies. Oh, excuse me. I don't get into conspiracies. I guess if I'm into any conspiracy it would just be that i believe in aliens i believe that they are out there i believe that they are we are not alone <laughs> what <laughs> you believe that we are not alone <laughs> yeah i believe that they're out there and i believe that uh, you know, the government ain't telling us everything i am sure the government's not telling us everything about a lot of things and bigfoot that too yeah dude definitely a bigfoot he's out hanging there. out definitely Loch Ness monster mm, i don't trust her rider she out there in the week. Now. Look at the ladder. He's out there. Uh, I out was there waiting for it. Giving, too. giving Nessie rides all night long. She's oh. like, hey, who wants to pay the fiver to ride the Nestor? And there's a key. It's like a horse. It's a seahorse monster. That was lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. It's like a bronchiosaurus in the water. Just a lovely monologue. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. No, I did. I Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you've already done that, let's do that Twitch. TNT9 and Monday on Twitch every single day, 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O, and my G-H-C on Scrape Sound, Twitch.tv. Heck, Chef, for doing us. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out.